Hello my friends out there, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials in Photoshop and not only Photoshop. Today I will create a tutorial for photographers and I will show you the way of retouching group photos. I know that if you are a photographer or if you ever owned a photograph, a camera actually, and you tried to take a shot of a group of people, it was uh, really a big mess. It would have been really a big mess because uh, when you have to photograph so many people, uh, they cannot stand still uh, no matter what you will say. Uh, some of them will blink, some of them will turn their head, some of them uh, will be not in the most appropriate position. So uh, you will have to make, let's say, 10 photographs in order to create one good overall photo. In this tutorial, I will show you how you will be able to combine shots in order to keep only the good and juicy part of each photograph. That way, we will be able to photograph many shots and then we will use Photoshop in order to blend them together. You will not need a tripod, you will only need many, many shots and of course the power of Photoshop. So, let's go and let's create a wonderful effect inside Photoshop. I have uh, already opened three photographs of the same event. Of course, uh, in each photograph, we, I have uh, different people to collect. Uh, I think I will use this photograph in order to start. So I will use this photo. Okay. So this will be my main photograph. Uh, I will put it here. Okay. This shot was uh, in... Uh, actually, I have to move it. Okay. I will move it right now. This photo was taken in Austria, in the place uh, where uh, I lived the last three years. It was the birthday day for this lady over here and uh, some relatives and friends gathered to, uh, you know, uh, enjoy and uh, uh, have a wonderful day. So I will put all the other photographs inside the first one, you see. I have to drag and drop the other frames inside, so I have a final photo with three frames. Of course, you can put more than three, you can put, <laughs> let's say, 300 photos if you like, uh, but of course the, fo the Photoshop will uh, actually struggle to uh, load the final result. If you have, let's say, five until ten photographs uh, in uh, this kind of layer thing, uh, you will be able to render this really fast, but don't put more than 10, let's say, because it will be really stressful for Photoshop. So I will have to uh, unlock this uh, background first photograph. And now I will select all the photos and the trick, here it comes. I will go to the edit and I will select the auto align layers. I will use the auto command, the projection, as you can see. I will hit OK and now Photoshop will try to align the photographs because uh, I didn't use uh, a tripod so the Photoshop will try to align the horizon and the whole scene in order to make more easy job for me the thing to take out the bad parts and bring in the good parts so as you can see now all my photographs have been um, turned you see that I have some empty spots over here you see that so my photograph has been uh, changed in order and rotated in order to look good and so now i have uh, this is, this will be my, my my first photograph and so i will start from here so this will be my base i will name this base and now i will build uh, over this photograph the good parts as you can see i have some blinks over here I have uh, some hats going on over here and of course I have uh, a lady who looks in the other way uh, instead of me. So I will have to fix all those problems but uh, these problems will be really easy. I think the best couple uh, was this couple over here. They stand it still in all the photos let's say. Maybe I will use some other uh, parts. We will see in the end, but they were really good uh, st and standing uh, stable uh, over the course of my photograph. So I will start from this one. I will uh, open this photo 
In this photograph, as you can see, I have this lady looking at me. So I will go, I will select the, I will put uh, a name, lady, middle. Okay, I will use only this lady over here, uh, probably. Okay, so I will start from here. I will uh, create a layer mask, you see that? I will select the white mask and I will invert it, hitting the control and I in my keyboard, command I in Macintosh. Wonderful. As you can see now, my layer is uh, active, is open, but I cannot see anything because the black mask is uh, affecting overall the, the visibility of this layer. So uh, with a white brush over the black mask, I will be able to reveal only the parts that they're really important for me. So I will take the brush, I will right click and select the soft brush, as you can see. Of course, the size, it depends from the person that you have to bring in or the details anyway. And I will start to bring in the good head. You see that? Of course, the alignment of the photo is really crucial in this photograph because I have so many details in the back that uh, uh, they're standing still even now that I bring in uh, new uh, details of the upper layer, you see that? Of course, I have to make some fine tuning here in order to fix it good. But of course, this is really easy, really easy job and really easy stuff. I think the right part of the lady, it is okay. The left part, it is not so okay. So I will have to lower the brass opacity, the lower brass size and try again. And you see that eventually, I will be able to keep it good. You see that? I will cut just a tiny bit of the of the other part. Of course, I have to. Maybe uh, if you try a lot, you will be uh, forced to create, uh, you know, a lot of edits. But in the end, if you just uh, be not so precise, you will be able to do it in a matter of minutes or seconds, let's say. But if you want to make it look good, you will have to be that way. No problem, as you can see. Okay, of course, as I say, you can just uh, do some re-edits, not so harsh, but uh, anyway, it's not so tough anyway. Uh, I just uh, covered the whole body of this lady over here, and I think uh, we are okay now. You see that? So this lady now is visible again. Check that before. Check that now. See that? Okay, I have maybe some uh, problems here, but I will fix them. Don't worry. Okay, you see that? Wonderful. This is the final result. And then I will go and uh, change this uh, lady over here. I have a better uh, face of her here. I will go and create uh, a black mask holding the Alt option in Macintosh and clicking the layer mask. And I will go again and I will repeat the same procedure, but I will not do it for the whole body. I just need the face. And you can see that really easy, just like a piece of cake. I have just converted the old bad position of the body to the new body. Of course, you have to be careful here in the uh, connections of the previous head to the new one. You see that? Really easy, really good looking job and really fast. I have just created wonderful stuff and the last I think part will be this guy over here. So I will go and I will take out, mm, I, I think it is a little bit tough but don't worry, we will make it. So we'll go check out the tree behind this man. It's straight you see that? Wonderful job. Uh, the auto aligned of the layers inside Photoshop did the trick for me. So now I will uh, use, you see that? Wonderful. And I will, the only thing that I have to do is uh, to bring in the new face of uh, the lady on his uh, right here. And of course, we are ready to finish in just a tiny bit. You see that? So easy. It was so easy to bring all the guys, all the people in the photograph to look great. So now they look great and I'm really happy with that result. 
so we're okay here you see that and maybe just a tiny bit fine-tuning but it was really easy for me to do that I was you know really stressful because nobody was listening to me they were uh, you know just speaking to each other and and I was like okay I don't give a damn I will just shoot 10 frames and I will just uh, retouch it then uh, afterwards in Photoshop and uh, I think I did a good job so my photograph is over of course last but not least I will have to cut the outer frames and maybe create a better frame of this photograph I will uh, use the crop tool of course and I will have to go here and create maybe let's say a panorama style looking hit OK and my photograph is done check the first photograph actually I will have to hide the masks check the first photograph OK check the second one check the last one and with the help of Photoshop and the magic of auto align layers I think I have a great overall last photo to be proud of so use Photoshop in order to fix group photos it is very easy you just loading inside one photograph all the rest layers and then you go to edit select the auto align layers and then last but not least you will use the masks in order to reveal or hide stuff inside your overall last photograph I'm Evan your friend in some really exciting tutorials if you like the tutorial please like my work with a like and of course if you want to see more from me don't forget to subscribe because uh, if you subscribe to my channel you will be able to see all the fresh tutorials that I create for you so have fun my friends and keep photoshopping